Okay guys, in this video I make glow-in-the-dark goo that I played with in the 80s. It's very simple. You just start with water absorbing crystals. It's a super absorbing polymer. Uh, the glow powder that I harvested in a previous video. I tried to uh, mortar and pestle these crystals but they're way too hard. It didn't work. So uh, I had a better idea and I'll show you that now. I placed about a tablespoon of the polymer crystals in a food processor. Add about a cup of water to it. Let that hydrate for about 10 minutes. Do a little time lapse here. You can see the crystals swelling up. It's actually pretty amazing what they'll hold. I think I read that one pound of the stuff will hold 50 gallons of water. It's really amazing. Okay, so the crystals were too big. Uh, I thought it would, I just, to make it more uh, realistic to what we used to mess with back in the 80s, I think it was Mad Scientist Labs. I just blended them up pretty well. You can see they're turning white the more I blend it. It's because they haven't absorbed near the water that they're capable of. It's just kind of a starting point. Get the crystals down to size. You can see here it kind of looks like snow. I might have given it about a, you know, a third of the water that it can hold. Maybe not even that much. I put a third of the crystals, give or take, in the bottom of this, what is this, a pint mason jar. Here I'm just adding about, there's an eighth teaspoon, give or take, of the glow powder. This is zinc sulfide. So there goes another eighth, probably, give or take. Roughly a quarter teaspoon of glow in the dark powder. And I just add enough water to kind of get it to where I can mix it all together. Put the lid back on and give it a nice shake. I didn't film it, but uh, after I take the lid back off, I just go ahead and top it off with water. It doesn't get any easier than that. So top it off with water, and then uh, I made another one just like this. So I have two, and I'll show you that now. And there they are. The camera doesn't have a, the proper lux to film low light, so I had to use a black light to really show you the glow on them. But it is quite bright when the, with the black light off. Probably glow for hours, I don't know. Just like any normal glow-in-the-dark powder. And the crystal size would, would determine, you know, how well you could see through it, too. I just kind of wanted to make it more, uh, more like I remembered. But you could do it any way you want to. The crystals from the, the miracle Grow stuff were very big. I mean, some of them went up half-inch to three-quarters in diameter. So that would be fine, too. Give it a different effect. Give that a shot. But anyway, that's easy. Thanks for watching.